Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Blake Keller. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. A fire Tuesday destroyed a building near Bay City's Midland Street Business District. At least six businesses, including Rath's Keller Food and Spirits, will now be collecting items like food, shoes, clothes, pet supplies, and monetary donations to help the affected businesses and the tenants that live above them. Rath's Keller plans to donate 20% of its sales the next couple of days, as well as other businesses. You can find a full list on our website. Later today, Governor Gretchen Whitmer is meeting with doctors, advocates of reproductive access, and lawmakers to repeal that 1931 abortion ban. The signing of the bill repealing the law comes after voters turned out in record numbers to pass that proposal three in the general election. The claims review process in the Flint water settlement has been delayed. A petition filed with the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals over the weekend seeks to review a court decision to uphold the district court's award of attorney fees in that case. It must be resolved before any settlement distributions can happen. All right, we have Matthew here striking out the latest in your first alert forecast. Thank you, Blake. For today, we still have our first alert weather day because of the chance for severe weather. All types of severe weather still possible, too, but we've been able to narrow down that time frame a little bit more, looking to be closer to 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. today, where we see that best chance at severe weather, and then again around 5 to 7 p.m., so around 2 to 5 p.m. today, right in the middle of the afternoon, should see actually a little bit of a break in activity coming in. But again, all types of severe weather still possible as we go into to today, especially that late morning to early afternoon time frame. That's where we have the best chance at seeing a tornado spinning up. However, our chance for a tornado today is a little bit lower than it was yesterday. So that is the good news heading into this Wednesday, but that chance for a tornado is still non zero and higher than normal. So still all the reason to pay attention to that and stay weather aware today. Storm Prediction that Center also still has an enhanced risk across most of mid Michigan. It's just our northern counties and the northern thumb where we have a slight risk now, but everybody still has a chance at seeing severe weather today. That strongest activity should be a bit farther south. We have a lot of warmth today, upper 60s to lower 70s, so that's what feeds these storms. Also, it's generally just windy today, too. Wind gusts around 30 to 40 miles per hour, so the wind and the heat, that's also what's feeding into some of these storms. As we go through the middle of this morning, that's where we see more storm activity off to the west, brewing up and eventually moving into mid-Michigan. This right here is by 10 a.m., then towards noon today. That's where we have that best chance at seeing those storms spinning up into a tornado. But that early afternoon after that, starting to quiet down just a bit, and the passage of the cold front looking much quieter this evening. Still a few rain showers and storms along the cold front, but nowhere near as heavy or widespread as what we were seeing yesterday. Now, we'll still stay windy into tomorrow, but mostly sunny, and we do eventually quiet down even more towards the end of the week and into Easter weekend, looking pretty nice on Easter Sunday, so we'll also keep an eye on that. But for today, big story is to stay weather aware and be sure to have a way to receive weather alerts. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.